I'm Dave Napick, the national trainer for Dana's Aftermarket Group. Welcome to Spicer Garage. Today we're going to talk about non-uniform velocity and the effects it has on a drive shaft. Non-uniform velocity is the difference in rotational speed in the input source, like a transmission, the drive shaft, and the axle. The difference in velocity or rotational speed can lead to vibrations in the drive shaft, which can cause significant damage to the drive train. Damage can occur at the transmission and or the drive axle. Non-uniform velocity occurs for two reasons. When the angles between the yoke at the transmission and the yoke at the axle are not in proper alignment or when the drive shaft is not phased correctly. The phasing of the drive shaft is related to the position of the yoke ears on either end of the shaft. That is why it is important to mark the position of the drive shaft yokes prior to disassembly of the drive shaft to ensure it is reassembled correctly. The system we have here represents the drive shaft of the vehicle and will help us demonstrate non-uniform velocity and the vibrations it causes. We have an electric motor as the transmission represented by the front sprocket. We have the drive shaft represented by the middle sprocket. And the last sprocket represents the axle. When we have no angle in a drive shaft, the speed should be constant. That's exactly what's happening with no angle. Everything travels at a constant speed. When we put unequal angles in the drive shaft, we cause the rotational speed to change. The front yoke gears, the input yoke gears, travel in a perfect circle at a constant rotational speed. However, the output yoke gears now travel in the ellipse, causing an inconsistent rotational speed. Notice how the output yoke gears speed up and slow down twice per revolution. We can see and hear the effects this has on the drive shaft. This inconsistent rotational speed is then transferred through the drive shaft to the axle, causing a vibration. What we want is the front and rear angles to cancel each other out. When the rear angle is equal to or within one degree of the front angle, the rotational speed realigns and eliminates the vibration in the system. As mentioned earlier, the other factor that can cause non-uniform velocity is improper phasing or alignment of the front and rear yoke ears. It is vital that you mark these positions prior to disassembly to ensure you can match the positions during reassembly. When the drive shaft is out of phase, again, you can see and hear the effects of the rotational speed of the drive shaft. While the front is still rotating in a perfect circle and at consistent rotational speed, the improper phasing has reinstated the elliptical and inconsistent rotational speed, causing vibrations and potential damage to the drivetrain. Thanks for joining us in the Spicer Garage.